Wave to the camera, Stan. Which one? It's two of us. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Okay, you're stun one and you're stun two. <laughs> okay, double that's stun. Double, double stun. stun today. It's a double Whoa! stun situation. Too much. Too much. Whoa! Stun situation. <laughs> Already one. This YouTube video is going to be already <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, be a bit quiet yes. over there because yes. uh, my noise cancellation can only do so much in our disembodied voices over here. <laughs> over the years, you've been to a lot of events in Belgium. You're quite the regular. Because I've seen you on at least three or four um, that you've been on the guest list. Um, so, do you have things you simply must do when you're in the country? Must do. Yeah. Um, well, number one thing is enjoy my time. <laughs> Um, I love, you know, coming to Belgium, people are really nice. Uh, food is really good quality. Um, one of the things that I love here is it tastes really nice. And I love the historical, so many places to visit. Um, so even though I've visited places, uh, I love to try and, um, you know, while we're driving to the hotel, for example, yesterday I was like, was a cathedral somewhere here. Oh yeah, so, um, do you want to hear a really funny story about the cathedral? Okay. Okay, a long time ago, uh, the church, they hired a sculptor to do a statue of Lucifer. Mm -hmm. They put it in a church and then went. Our Lucifer is actually way too hot, we can't have him. And then they commissioned his brother to do an even hotter Lucifer and he's still in the church. It's okay. like, it's a, it's, a, it's a really famous art history meme that goes around the entire globe and I constantly go like, yeah. Yes, you know, they just learned. <laughs> yeah, we're actually going to see him later. Right. Today. Sounds good. Yeah, you, well, I'd say come along, but I'm uh, kind I of feeling the vibe. Yeah. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> So, uh, having read the script uh, of the Goblet of Fire for the first time, uh, was there a scene that you were uh, particularly looking for uh, to, to film? And uh, was the process any different than uh, what you were expecting? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, well, I remember reading the script and Victor promised quite a bit yeah. in it. So I was like, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember looking forward to the Quidditch. Oh, you know, right. That was yes. exciting times. And you it's know, a huge how do you film Quidditch? Yeah. So I was like, I want to find out. And it was very different to what I imagined. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, a lot of blue like, screen. Um, yeah, you don't see much of the, a lot the of magic. Crowd. Yeah, yeah no, not much. <laughs> magic. Yeah, movie magic. Well, yeah, so it was very different, was it? Uh, yes, still? it was very, very different to what I imagined. Pretty difficult. Yeah. Um, but I also remember, you know, the old ball stuff. Oh, yeah. Because they had, you know, it was um, so puffed up. Yeah. And I was like, I want to see the effects, you know, they're going to yeah. do. Studios are built, you know, in the great hall. Also. Amazing. Wow. Well, you have a Yule Ball question. Yes, so I have a Yule Ball. It's uh, the next one. Uh, so, during the Yule Ball scene, uh, there's a scene where the, the crowd uh, goes totally crazy because the Wade sisters are on stage. Oh, okay, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> you remember. So, uh, were you uh, given any uh, specific instructions or were you just told to go for it and uh, have fun? Um, well, <laughs> if, if you zoom into the crowd, yeah. you'll see Victor Crumb is with the Slytherins. Yes, with the uh, Goyle and Crab. Yes, and, uh, with Goyle Michael. and Crab and, you know, the rest. Yeah. And he's having a very All good time. Friend, yeah. So I remember Mike, you know, he was like, here, just go for it, go. <laughs> Party and, Mark. And, um, yeah, we just, I mean, it was like rock oh, yeah. and roll kind oh. of music. So we so just were... went for it and then, um, you know, <laughs> you see Flitwick. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was just amazing. Oh, great. So, so you know, guys literally yeah. went party hard. Yes, yeah. I think you know this, the the crowd surfing of Flitwick was unexpected. I think really? he just went for it. Yeah. Oh, and the students uh, followed and uh, took yeah, Flitwick. Yeah, it was it was like on a rock concert. <laughs> but, but, Okay, um, so we talked about Quidditch. So speaking of games, Hogwarts Legacy has just been released. Are you yep. playing? Because it's quite the hype. Um, I have just seen uh, different bits of it. I have friends who are, you know, literally haven't slept since it's <laughs> come out. 
um, streaming online and um, playing and explaining the entire game. I did do an interview for TV, <laughs> which was about the game. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got myself some materials to get familiar with. It looks amazing. Um, I will definitely be playing it somewhere along the lines, you know, Yeah. Um, when I get some time. But yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it does. I love the details. Just, and, yeah, it's amazing. You know, what people have shown already online. It really looks cool. Considering yeah. your character is a Quidditch star, have you ever played Muggle Quidditch? Oh yeah, many times now. <laughs> um, even uh, I took part in this World Cup. There is wow. a real Quidditch World Cup. Yeah, I know. So, as you know, with the crown is the icon of Quidditch. Yeah. Um, I get invited to these events. And um, last year I was in Italy and there were people, you know, from all over the place. You know, from the UK, from Italy, Italy from uh, Spain. And they were playing in this crazy boiling heat. It was during the oh, heat wave. I know. But you know, they have so much passion for that thing. Yeah. And um, they played in the heat mm -hmm. and they loved every bit of it. And I played it a few times. I've played it in Hungary as well. <laughs> um, it's a very physical game. Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> very physical. And I find it a mixture of um, rugby, football, American football. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's very intensive. Like a snitch. Oh, God bless oh, yeah. the snitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not more snitch. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, seeing you've probably heard uh, all the Harry Potter questions uh, a ton of times, uh, <laughs> we can try something else. Uh, we'll give you two options and you'll pick one and tell us why. <laughs> so, uh, this one was your ID. Uh, so, the Noble Collection Firebolt Broom or the new Cine Replicas one? Yeah, the, the, the Replica Brooms. Because okay. there's a phase-off now, because you have the plastic one by the whole collection and then you have the real wood one by Cine because it just came out. Well, how the hell have you seen them? Okay. Do we have... Uh, so you just like, on the general piece? Uh, well, they look, yeah. both look, I mean, you know, the ones I've seen, they yeah. look good. So, I'd imagine, you know, the new ones look even better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you're really into fitness. You're really passionate about it. So... Healthy food all the time, or are you going to go for typical Belgian dishes like steak frites or waffles, chocolate, and let's forget the beer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I've already done um, some traditional burger thing yesterday. Oh, so, you tried it? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I, I tried to stick um, to you know healthy lifestyle, <laughs> and diet, and cleansing, and all that. And I'm actually starting Monday. Oh. I mean, I start on Monday. Everybody <laughs> says, but. For me, you know, it will be uh, this coming Monday, so I've allowed myself to enjoy the gym. Uh, I mean, uh, so yeah, this weekend is trying different Belgian things. You've just reminded me of beer, and now my mouth is watering. Um, so yeah, sometimes you need to allow this. Yeah, this is true. Okay, so we've got one more, and that's Valentin. Yeah. So, uh, presenting a nature documentary uh, where you really go out in the nature or starring in an action movie. What do you, know you like most? Well, I've already starred in an action movie, so <laughs> I would love to do a documentary. Oh, yeah, to try something new. Well, I do a lot of camping with my motorcycle, yeah. so it will be. You're it won't necessarily be something new. But mm -hmm. it would be nice to do some documentaries for a big channel. Yeah, maybe yeah. like for a Netflix a series where you go camping in like famous nature parks or maybe uh, maybe lesser oh, known ones. Netflix, hello. Hello, Netflix. Yeah. Netflix, it's if you're watching this, this look at this gentleman over here. He'd be really good for it. We're yeah. we're totally totally telling you to hire him. It's a good idea. Motorcycle traveling, camping out in different places, yeah. discovering. <laughs> Yeah, 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 could be good. Just I've... imagine, you know, um, all the people that will be welcoming and yeah. wanting to show me farms and different yeah, places. Yeah, 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 definitely. I can see it happening, so yeah. Mm -hmm.
Welcome everyone. Stan from les quatre maisons. Euh, la boutique Harry Potter de Liège avec la dédicace de Stan Yanevski today. Venez nous voir quand vous voulez, on vous accueillera avec plein de bonne humeur. Tous les jours quand même, pas juste aujourd'hui. Pas juste aujourd'hui, tous les jours, du mardi au samedi, 10h30 à 18h.